Right, good evening, good evening to our community, UK government intelligence teams, Coventry Little Park Street Police Station, superiors, and all the Coventry Council Sector Management, Healthcare, NHS Coventry University Hospital, legal criminal practicing researchers, and the Swanswell Centre Doctors Association psychiatrists, mental health administrators who hire these cover operators who are surrounding me every day, watching my lips, watching my whole human anatomy, yeah, and watching the way I, I uh, conduct myself and operate every day in the home or in, in society or in the, in the works area, yeah, and they've been doing it for that long, yeah, we will throw the book at anyone who thinks they can assess me illegally, criminal practicingly, and anyone who thinks they can approach me via any healthcare sector workers who think they can do assessments on people. Um, yeah, the COVID team have been caught criminal practicing. The senior COVID leader needs to go to be needs to be imprisoned, needs to be identified, needs to be named, because it's criminal practicing for the Swansea Centre Doctors and Mental Health Administrators, for social workers, for healthcare workers, for NHS researchers, and for criminals in Coventry who, who bet on football. That's why it goes on every weekend, every day. So I want Dr. Holmes, Dr. Batorius, the Ralph Benitez lookalike, Paul McKenna lookalike, whoever, whatever his name is, the Caucasian girl, Zina Logan, and all their healthcare and professionals who've hired these cover operators who conspire with them, collaborate with them, and have an access to clinical close-up photographs of my mouth, of my face, of my eyes, of my whole body, including when I'm sleeping, and trying to criminal practice neuroscience, and the gateway project experiments in trying to extract dreams and trying to brain computer interface them eh, to, eh, to, to, to see what visuals they can capture and can see. So on my apps, this is why there's a COVID team around here. Yeah, I'll sing. If I want to sing, exposing the COVID team, exposing the conspirators in the local community linked to Old Dormant Association, Exposing the people they're conspiring with in my works areas, in management or in the agencies, in all my previous workplaces, until this COVID team leader has learned his lesson to obey the law, to be disciplined and know how to act in society. I will sing and there's nothing he can do catching my mouth. Nothing he can do trying to use other people's bodies, slim body frames in works areas or on buses or anywhere in Coventry or anywhere in my vicinity for 17 years trying to defraud everyone and trying to say it's me or my mother or my brother. This is what we've been getting away with in Coventry illegal criminal practicing, profile making, defrauding, sub-projects, example making, using internet streams, watching other people in their homes doing, doing odd behaviour, odd activities or not doing it very good because they're mentally, physically disabled, and then trying to state it's the people they're trying to stitch and frame up. This is what I've got on the senior covert leader. He's a fraudster. He's a coward. He's a racist bigot. He's a broken, idle, lazy bum sitting on covert duty, sneaking around into people's, other people's properties that they've subletted to him and thinks he can stitch and frame people up. I want to throw the book at him. Yeah, he's a lazy bum. He's been racketeering all his life, been thieving all his life, and now he's got people involved, youngsters, retired people, and middle-aged people my age, yeah, to run around for him, even using girls and women trying to stay it's my mother. Yeah, and they're all criminal practicing, and they're all got into cybercrime, trying to steal country people's, who's not, who's not in their association, trying to steal the data off their phones, off their computers, off their internet networks. Yeah, and then pass some information on to the local pubs, to the social clubs, to the NHS, council workers, and to all the armed forces boys, firemen, police officers who racketeer with them and, and uh, associate with them, who want to line their pockets with stolen data and then make out their good gamblers. And there's still information for poker players. Yeah, so that's why I've warned people before we play poker. Yeah, it's rife in the UK, rife in the West Midlands, rife in Coventry, that these cyber criminals who are criminal practicing and, and got the information from racketeering 
rogue, retired police officers, present police officers, trainee police officers, and they've gave that information to cancer workers, to firemen, to armed forces connections, to old miners, cavemen, yeah, and to security guards. That's what I'm exposing. And I want Coventry police, non-corrupted police, to arrest this broken senior CID, broken trainer, instructor, and broken senior healthcare management. And take it all off them and throw them in prison, take the pensions off them and throw the key away. So teach them a lesson for think they can sound record people every day, think they can capture people every day, audiology, facial expressions, holy new human anatomy, catch their genitals, think it's a laugh to watch people in showers, in bedrooms, cooking in kitchens, yeah, or sleeping. Yeah, the person in charge is a modern peeping Tom, incapable of talking to people like me because I'll put him in his place. He's a bona fide coward, bona fide racist bigot, listen to me now, and he's fucking shitting himself. Excuse my language. That's what I'll think of him. And think all, all the girls in healthcare, in the NHS, and all the little boys he's networking to, they're all bona fide cowards. And I'm not exposing the system in Coventry so they don't do it ever again. And they want UK intelligence teams to throw the book at them. So camera radiation detected. And I oh am, yeah, if the neighbours listen to my music, my music's off now. It's not late at night. It's not breach of the peace. It's not noise nuisance. You should not be conspiring with covert operators who are out to try and stitch frame people try and stitch and frame people up with no time limit. They can't do it every day and I want them out of here tomorrow. What other and the, this flat will be seized in the criminal investigations and whatever equipment technology they're using. Studs, hidden devices, microphones and wherever they're aiming from in Fenside along in, on, on this estate here. I want, yeah, all of them detected, all of them arrested, every single covert operator Every other operator they've used in my vicinity, in my mother's vicinity, and my brother's vicinity. Yeah, and I want to find out where my brother is. And that's down to UK intelligence to get to the bottom of it all. So that's the hidden device detector. Yeah, it picks up all, every time I take a camera, every time I take a photograph, a video. Yeah, well, every time I do a sound recording, my apps are picking it all up. That's why country council sector workers can never detain me. And never detain my mother. We'll throw a book at them. Throw a book at every social worker, half co worker, any judge and jury. If there's issue, a court order that is broken to our Central Association psychiatrists and to the mental health administrators, they are training. And Coventry, NHS, Mills Hospital, anyone participating with this COVID team, we will imprison you. And anyone who works. Works organisations, past and present, where I've been working. You carry on cooperating, conspiring with this broken COVID team, healthcare sector workers, and we'll throw you in prison as well. Don't care who you are, whether you're armed forces people, whether you're police officers, whether you're sector and professionals, we will imprison your whole team, your whole organisation, your whole department. Yeah, we want the name of the COVID operators and the clinical close up researchers. We want them identified. And any community members are doing it, you can go to prison for a very long time. And any old dormant association, you carry on, we we'll throw you in prison and take every penny off you. So here's today, when I'm having a shower in my flat, while I'm playing music, and they think they can capture my lips while I'm singing, and they're doing parodies and taking the mickey at their covert operations. Yeah, they're up to no good. Yeah, the proper going out with intent, trying to sabotage my life, my mother's life, and our future finances. I want them all imprisoned. That's when I left work. Yeah, the, the covert team are going to prison for it. Yeah, I don't care who they think they are. They're going to imprison every covert operator who is sat on covert duty around me doing shifts and we'll imprison everyone. You go out tomorrow, you're going to be arrested. We know where your hiding spots are. 
You carry on Friday, Saturday. You carry on all week. They're going to pick your COVID team off. One after the other. The senior leader, broken armed forces mercenary, broken idiot linked, linked to, to Logan family will imprison the whole family. And anyone linked to the old dorm, dorm association, linked to their gang, will imprison your whole gang. So you can see, we're using infrasound, ultrasound, see through all technology, thinking they can watch me in my home every day, 24 hours a day. That's why I have to go to prison. So your best name, the COVID team, sector workers, to save yourself from going to prison. NHS, Coventry Universal Hospital workers, your best name, the COVID team, the legal researchers, non-consenting researchers, criminal practicing researchers, and, and your Swan's Athens Doctors Association, Dr. Holmes, Dr. Vittorius, to the Ralph Benitez, Paul McKenna, to the Caucasian Guild, to Xena, name your COVID team, even if you're your family members. And Coventry Council, anyone linked to the council, to the police, to the fire service, name the COVID team. And all the armed forces people out there, name them. Yeah, all day around the works area, but hiding on cover duty. So stand to Coventry Police to go and arrest them. Or if it's your own, pull them out. I'll leave it at that. Don't forget the West Midlands Police Training School. Yeah, Tony Chapman to Ron Lewis's. Yeah, he worked at SCS to Mark Sexton. They're all linked to Coventry Police, linked to Coventry Council. And all Coventry people in Fenside. Yeah, name a COVID team, name the people who are sneaking in and out of here. They're not allowed to do walking, trespassing, burglaries. Don't care if they're smanning clothes, smanning my boxer shorts, or smanning my fucking bed sheets. They're not allowed to. They're criminal practicing. They're lying to everyone, manipulating everyone, and learning about art deception, learning about art manipulation. Never trust them again. They run out of time. Yeah, and they carry on because they think they run the city. So everybody digest it all, so I can analyse it all, and let's stand this COVID team, let's stand this senior COVID leader, let's in imprison the instructors and the senior peers. You're racketing with them in Coventry Healthcare, NHS, Social Services, and the Swansea Centre Doctors Association, psychiatrists, want to be sociologists, and the human behavioural science modification, the human behavioural modification programmers, and the new neurologist neuroscientists. They have, they, have, they have no rights to do it and they've got no time limit to throw their book at them because they've ever spent it all. They've done it all for 17 years. They did it all in Vincent Wilde's house. And that's why I've done this YouTube channel to expose it all so they can't do nothing to me. They can't chitch me even if they wanted to. And make all these people's lives a misery, throw them in prison, take the pensions of them and investigate the finances. Over and out.